Doodle fans, it's Tammy. I am here with Levi and Gertrude's litter of F1 Bernadoodles. They are almost three weeks old, or actually they are three weeks old. They have all been matched to their new families. Um, they are doing great, but let's do some congratulations. First we have Lee. Congratulations, Jamie on Lee. This little phantom Merle boy is just beautiful. Next we have, used to be Poppy, now she is the luxurious Gucci. Um, congratulations, Angela and Brad on Gucci. And next we have Beppo. Congratulations, Christine on Beppo. So cute. Here's Pepe. Congratulations, Militia and Joshua on Pepe. Hi, buddy. Next we have Paige. Congratulations, um, Arlen on Paige. So cute. Love all of their little expressive eyebrows. Oh, really sassy pants. You know I'm scrubbing. Next we have Calvin, and I don't have a name in the system other than Calvin, so I'm not sure if Calvin is going to a Calvin or if maybe the name hasn't been input into our little tracking system, but congratulations on Calvin. Next we have, I think it's Yossarian, um, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but he will be called Yo-Yo, so an adorable name. Are you a Yo-Yo? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, uh, David, on Yo-Yo. Next we have Lucky, here is Lucky. Congratulations, Angie, on Lucky. I think you're both pretty lucky. And then we have Florence. Florence is going to remain in the Awesome Doodles program um, with one of our partners as a fu potential future Aussie Doodle Mama. And Lois. Lois is also going to remain probably in the program as a future Aussie Doodle, Awesome Doodle Mama. So that is our litter. Congratulations to everyone. We're so honored that you chose to have one of our puppies become part of our family and that you put that trust in us and we are going to work really hard to ensure that we um, meet that trust and, and get you the best puppy possible. These guys, this is such a fun time to watch the puppies. Um, they are learning so much. They're just getting more agile every day. They're still a little bit clumsy right now so if you feel them kind of, see them kind of tottering and fall over. That's okay, that's completely normal. Every day you will see their actions and their walking and their play get a little more purposeful, a little more coordinated. And it's just really fun to watch. So this week, now that they're three weeks old, they had their nails trimmed. They tolerated that really well. I trim their nails with a Dremel, um, and so it kind of has a vibration. So when I'm trimming their nails, obviously I just zip over all of their nails and we kind of massage and spread their toe pads apart when we do that, just to get them used to people playing with their toes, touching their toes. You can see some dogs are really sensitive about their feet. Uh, we try to really minimize that. And then we also take the Dremel, the, the body part of it, and just go down both sides of their body just to, they feel that vibration and it kind of can be similar to a clipper. So it just kind of helps get them used to their future grooming needs. And we'll do that every time we trim their nails and sometimes even when we're not trimming their nails, we'll just do that. We also, we, we play with their feet every day. 
just to desensitize them. I, I don't like when dogs don't like to have their, when they're so sensitive about having their nails trimmed that it sent, stresses them out. So we like to really desensitize that. We do a lot of like massaging of their ears too because of flop eared breed. You may have to clean their ears sometimes. So we'll kind of just do this little rubbing, little touching all over their body. If you peek in here and you see, and that's Gertrude, she wants in. She wonders what I'm doing with her puppies. But um, if you see me touching their body, that's just, can you cut that out, Rebecca? If you see me touching their body, Duchess, enough. If you see me touching their body, that is just, we're just getting them used to touches all over their body, um, just desensitizing them to touch. And that's really important for your dog. You don't want them startled every time someone touches them or when they have to have their nails trimmed for it to stress them out or not want their ears touched if you have to ever clean their ears out. Uh, this week you will see um, they'll get a water bowl in here. They'll, they'll drink out of it. They'll kind of explore it a little bit. They won't really start to drink a lot until they are eating the mash, which comes next week. You'll see Gertrude in here, but over the week you'll see her spending less and less time in here. She might be laying there or she'll be laying out there. She'll always be close by, but she just won't be in here with them 24-7 right now. And that's just her kind of letting them have slowly have a little bit more autonomy. Um, she'll she's a she's a Bernese so obviously so she'll be laying wherever I have the fan laying uh, or pointed um, Bernese get hot really easily so we always have a fan once the puppies are able to regulate their own temperature I have a fan that kind of points right over here to keep her cool and not really affect them but it's a fun week to watch the puppies watch them grow watch them start to really explore their little area they'll get a bed in here this week and that you'll see they kind of like puppy pile onto it they love their beds um, but we're excited for you to watch them grow, and we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Thank you.